And we're off here. Pachola Bugas gets us going. And Darren, different lineup for United. Mitchell trying to find Giganto. Giganto now. Trying to slide that in. And that's the opener, Kaya. Inflicting first blood. It's a fantastic finish by Kishira Daniels, but of course, Giganto doing a lot of the work on the right hand side after receiving a fantastically weighted and driven pass from the centre back Mitchell. And Kaya, I must say, have been the dominant side in this first period of the first half. Just dropping his shoulder, a bit of inexperience there perhaps from the left back of Serres, allowing the, the player to get goal side. Schrock operating against Mitchell. If anyone has a free roll, that's Stefan Schrock. And that will be a free kick right outside the penalty area. Most history repeating itself against Minjola. They had loads of corners, not yet converted any. But it could happen now. Oh, Mitchell skying for that. He towered over everyone. And that was a clean header. And for the first time this season, UCFC down 2-0. And Kaya showing their class. Yeah, it's the first, take, first time that United City have been down by two and it's also the first time that Kyra FC have managed to score two goals. And they've come with great timing, one at the start of the half and then one towards the end of the first half. And it's textbook, it's been a long time coming. Kinshira Daniel, Daniels finding his range and then Mitchell just climbing up and just directing the ball. Then Odoward has already made a difference here. Chance out for Marasigan to deliver a good ball inside. My caught. Chance here, but poor touch there. Hasinaba unable to control that. In the advantage being played. Maranyon on the break. Still on side. Bodelic missed that one. Charging forward. It's Maranyon. Maranyon. Wide left there, but that's much more lively from United. Against Mendiola in that unfortunate draw. Player number 18, Emmanuel Osei. De Broica now on the attack, trying to find a man on the right. Giganto gets it, but that is hit away. Schrock trying to force a mistake here. Here's a chance for Schrock. Unable to get that down. And that will be a foul against Schrock able to get inside after the play broke down and it's a very very big tackle that comes in the water finding Maranyon trying to play quickly inside and they pull one back One of the substitutes comes in and makes a difference. In fact, they all combine to pull one back. And it's game on here. Kaya FC haven't won anything yet. And now we have a game of football with 10 minutes to go. Odawara has really been controlling things across the back. But it's the weighted pass of Marignon which has just found its way through to the ever run. Don't take your eyes off this one. Schrock with the with the ball in and Casas had to reach for it. He made. It's Odowara. Out to Minigishi. Whipping it in. And Mendy just misses it. And with four minutes to go, that's a huge opportunity from Mendy as the ball was just whipped across. Let's take a look at one of uh, Schrock's key contributions a while ago and Casas' brilliant save there. Again, had to make it. By Minigishi, Minigishi finds it. Maranyon in the box, turn and shot! Pushed away to the bar it looks like. Mycott 
Cleared away by Daniels, and that will be it. United, they are the champions of the league, but absorbed their very first loss in two years to Kaya FC on the final day of the competition. On their final day of the competition. Kaya with a pair of first half goals, getting enough over United City, who really turned it up in the second half, but still it was too little.